it's Willow and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this Himi Gouache... Gouache? Okay, I just searched up the pronunciation and apparently in British it's Gouache, but I'm not going to be saying that. So yeah, I got this Himi Gouache 24 colours set and I'm sure most of you have seen it somewhere on the internet. These are really popular and I've never tried gouache before so I'm going to be unboxing it and trying it for the first time with you guys. So I did get this for my birthday which was in April and I just haven't unboxed it because I wanted to do it on a video and I just never got the time to make the video. So I'm really excited to just get started. So it comes with this palette and then here are the 24 colours that the set comes with. So now that I've opened the brushes, I think what I'm going to do is start opening the colours. I'll probably do a few while explaining what my thought process is and then I'll do a time lapse of me opening the rest. So I'm going to start with probably this one. Actually no, this one will be easy to get to. This one is just white, and from what I've heard, it's really messy actually. So I'm just gonna get a few tissues so that I can keep control of the mess, hopefully. So let's start with this one. How does everyone make it look so easy? Okay, finally, got it. Here we go. Wow, that is great next one is earth yellow there we go that one's much easier probably not waste this paint that's on the lids i'll probably use that for swatches okay so i'm probably going to do the rest in a time lapse Okay, wait, I just realized it'll probably be easier to color coordinate them before I've opened them. So I'm just gonna take them all out, the side where I want to put them, and then I'm gonna open them afterwards so that I don't make as much of a mess. Ooh, like that. Okay, cool. Now that I've reordered them, which was definitely a good idea doing with the lid still on, considering how much paint I got on myself already, I am going to open the rest of them. But remember, don't hesitate to call on me for anything. Like you said, a human being, I'm going to make you take that chance. Things have been different for me ever since I met Elvie. I've never met anyone quite like her before. Hey guys, it's me again, and I finally opened all of the paints. I tried them out a little bit on some scrap watercolour paper I had, and I did start swatching some in my sketchbook, but then I decided it was kind of useless and I got kind of impatient, so I didn't end up swatching them all because they looked the same colours as how the paints look in the containers. Anyway, it wasn't like with markers where the colour that shows up is way different than the colour that's on the lid. So what I'm doing right now is just experimenting with how much water I use and just trying to get used to how they feel. And I know that lots of this video has some weird like 
really zoomed in angles and it's also quite blurry. That's because my tripod broke. And then for the start of this video, when I was doing it at my desk, I had my phone stacked on a bunch of books, which obviously didn't go as high as my tripod. So I had to try and keep everything in a smaller space that would fit into the frame. And that's why it was really blurry. Actually, I'm not sure why it was so blurry. I think it was just not focused. And then I decided to move onto the floor because it was just getting too cramped on my desk. I did eventually manage to like balance my phone precariously on the tripod at this point of filming. Anyway, so here what I was doing was, I think I found something on Pinterest. It was just like a cloud scene with some silhouettes of pylons. So I decided to do that because it would give me a chance to try using opaque undiluted gouache on top of like a diluted background. But I am also quite impatient, so I don't think I properly waited for the background to dry. If you leave the background wet, it's kind of like with watercolour, it'll just go really blurry and like, I think it's called cauliflower? Yeah, it'll cauliflower into the rest of the painting. The bleeding into other colours thing was a lot more apparent in this eye that I did, which was also inspired from Pinterest. It was like, you know those really impressionistic like portraits or just paintings in general that use lots of like different colours that you wouldn't expect to see? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but as you can see, I didn't wait for it to dry and then it got kind of messy, but at least my other painting turned out okay. I think the pink and brown colour scheme is actually really nice. So once I was done experimenting with the paints a bit, I decided to do one more painting for this video and I followed this tutorial which I will link in the description because it's a great tutorial, you should definitely check it out. And check out Emma's channel as well because she's really good at painting. And even though I'm a complete beginner and this was my first painting, it was really easy to like follow along. This tutorial was for a sunset with clouds in the background and then some trees at the front. I think it was really good that I did a proper painting to practice because then I got to get used to figuring out how much water I need to add for different sections because if you add too little water it takes a long time to cover a large space but if you add too much then it's going to pick up the colour from underneath. And it's also really satisfying to mix the colours together. I really like the colour scheme for this painting and mine doesn't really match the colours that she used in the tutorial. I mean, I tried my hardest, but the end result definitely doesn't look exactly the same. Blending the paints was quite easy. It's kind of similar to when you're blending acrylic paint. And if anything, it's kind of easier because if it's taking a long time to cover an area, you can just add more water until the paint is kind of more creamy and then it's much quicker to blend. My blending on this painting wasn't amazing, but I didn't put too much time onto it because I knew it'd get covered up a lot anyway. And this painting was surprisingly quick to do. It only took me like half an hour. Painting the clouds was really fun because it was very simple to do. I just had to do random splodges with my brush and it still looked good. Then I added some different colours, including like dark blue and light peachy colours to make the clouds look like they had more dimension. I think the main difference with my painting and the painting in the tutorial was that I added quite a lot of shadows. So I think in my painting, the clouds stand out a lot more than hers, which kind of take away the focus from the trees, but I think it still turned out really nice. I didn't wait long enough for the dark blue to dry before I added the peachy colour on so as you can see it's kind of getting muddy so I waited a bit longer for it to dry and then I went on top with a lighter colour. As you can see in comparison to that close-up shot the camera quality isn't great but it's the best I can do so we're just gonna have to deal with it. So as you can see I was just trying to make the clouds less dark and prominent and I was trying to use lots of different shades to make them look less flat basically. And then moving on to the trees it was also very simple, but had a really good end result. I just had to abstractly and loosely paint the leaves and then repeat it for all of the trees. And by using different colours for the trees, it's really easy to create a sense of perspective. This whole painting is just really good vibes. It's giving golden hour. And it kind of reminds me of the types of forests that were in books I used to read as a kid. I don't know, it's just really good vibes. And I'm not a painter, I don't paint a lot. The only paintings I do are the ones that I think you've seen me paint with watercolour. 
so I really like how this turned out and I really enjoyed painting it as well it didn't take too long and the process was really fun because watercolor sometimes makes me a bit impatient but for this painting it was a lot more fast paced I feel like I didn't have to wait for an hour or half an hour in between each layer. I don't think I'm ready to paint from reference pictures myself just yet so I'm probably going to follow a few more tutorials. In the meantime let me know if you want to see any more painting videos. I think I'll probably film them when I want a break from drawing. Once again take a look at the tutorial I'll have linked in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment about whether you have the Hemi gouache paint and if you like it or not. Bye!